Welcome to the third stage of 2012 National Roller Blues and National Series. There's always some quick people at, um, at Bristol. Uh, track riders and BMX riders normally do really well. Better than road riders. <laughs> Big lad that used to play prop for my rugby club called James Dando. I'm going to beat him. I've had a chat with the boys that are running the show. I think I've got my tactics down. I guess this lot, they ain't going to beat no Iron Man, that's for sure. There's a skinny little fellow called John Whitney as well. He works at Bike Radar. He's all that all the time, so um, he's going to cop it as well. Uh, Trying it past the first round and uh, take it from there. Just speak to Scott Longstaff, is my, my answer today. There's a, a flash looking London fellow called Steve. I'm going to crack at him as well. I'll give him my best. Hopefully, a few beers will uh, give me some much needed carbohydrate. I'm having a few beers, a couple of fags. Um, prepare myself properly, then as far as I can see, you, you, you cycle like the clappers for 25 seconds or so. I reckon James, but we'll see. Now, until 9 o'clock, we shall be having quarter fight. Yeah. I'm regretting that burger, if I'm honest. Three, two, one. Easy, isn't it? Oh, that's really hard. Excellent, I feel uh, really, really good. I just love winning. On the red bike, are you ready? Blue bike, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! We enjoyed ourselves for, for an hour or so before uh, riding. Wasn't probably the best strategy. You've got to spin it really high gear. It's not about necessarily how powerful you are, it's just you've really got to get a good rhythm. I was up against four other guys, well, three other guys from Bike Radar, and I came out on top. Okay, so this is. Not still what everybody's thunder all the time. The guys who run well at Belize, they've got good music, good life, good equipment. So it all really contributes to quite a good atmosphere. Yeah, it's the first time I've been here and probably won't be the last. There was one last thing actually, it's um, Scott Longstaff. He told me he was used to a bigger ring, but I guess that's him playing, you know, rugby all his life. <laughs>